Hey guys, I'm GTX and welcome back to a tutorial on how to install the fan mod. Uh, this is from Mash Potato 420. He asked me in a comment, so Mash, this is all for you, mate. So, uh, what you do? Go to your Steam page, go to Scrap Mechanic. Mine is currently running. Uh, don't worry about that right now. It's just for me. Then you can go to Workshop. You, uh, it'll open up Scrap Mechanic Workshop. Type in fan mod and you search that now as you guys can see I do have two of them installed here or subscribed to you got two different ones you get the creative features one this one will add all the little gadgets and gizmos and extra items and stuff that he has created the whole pack with all of the blocks and items and then the custom game mode one this is the one that uh, it's a complete you start it as a game mode it has uh, your levels that you level up and you can add skills and all that extra stuff um, that you can't really put in a mod and add it with other mods so this is a custom game mode you got the two so custom game mode is the one I've been using on my games and then the creative features one you can add with any other custom game mode I'll explain a little better for you guys now. So let's quickly go over to Scrap Mechanic. So once you're in the game, uh, the mod should be loaded as long as you subscribe to it. You're going to hit play. Now you'll see Challenge, Survival, Creative. There's no like mod section over here. You have to go to the top right in Custom Game. Now in here you can see my game saves and everything. Um, now over here you can go New Game. Then you have to select on the left side is your custom game modes. Like I can pick the fan one, which uh, you normally would do. You pick the fan one if you want the full experience like I'm playing. You pick this one and then you can add little other mods, mechanical parts or whatever you want. Um, on the right side, this is the mods that add on to it. But when I started the series I had Sky Mechanic was my custom game mode so what I would do I would select Sky Mechanic on the left side but then on the right side I would go and add the the fan extra parts basically like uh, for example the the, the Sakomatic the logo stuff you know I would do the individual parts because fan has all of his stuff individually as well or what I could have done is just well this worked best for me uh, in the start I did select the fan survival one this one at the bottom that has everything um, I don't know if it's going to work like it used to um, but yeah you can select it over here if you're playing with a different uh, game mode uh, I just like to do the individual parts because uh, Sky Mechanic has its, or its, its own stuff in it and then just adding a little bit more parts. I just picked the individual ones which is uh, uh, a little bit easier. It was uh, these five. That was it. You name the game and you hit the play button. Now the other way you can do it is just a custom fan mod. Now if you, if you select the custom fan mod then you can add the different mods for an example you don't have to add these because they are all these ones are all in the uh, custom fan mod already so you don't have to add those that'll just be extra um, the MJM mod I can for example add that or I can add uh, the polygons one and then I just make a new Let's say YouTube tutorial and then gonna hit play. So I selected the custom fan mod now. So it should be the basis and then the other mod should be extra. Just wait for you to load. Takes a few seconds just to load all the mods and everything. There we go. Should load in right now any second. Come on. 
but yeah it's pretty simple uh, it's easier the old days before they in, uh, incorporated the mods into steam it was a little bit more difficult you had to use nexus mods and stuff like that to get the games in i think the first scrap mechanic series i did i actually used nexus mod i think i'm not sure might have already been um, switched over to the steam workshop but i think i, I think i might have been nexus mods but yeah, it's pretty simple. Now everything should be in, everything should be loaded. And since I did add the fan custom game mode, you get the custom commands as well. It's actually dev commands. Okay, let me just skip that. Um, so I should be able to go cheat and then go fly now we'll be able to fly around because uh, Fant adds this in its custom uh, game mode just gonna go over here to the mechanic station quickly because I wanna get and then the other thing was unlimited now I got unlimited inventory oh ow Oh yeah, I need to do the power stuff. Oh, actually, I can just do this now. Uh, I think it's called power. No, it's uh, battery. Give me one of those. Just place that quickly in. Oh, actually, I'm so dumb. I don't know why I flew over here. <laughs> I am using uh, dev commands right now because you can in fant mod fant also has this little handy little book as well but i can just go craft bot let's grab a normal one and then let me just turn fly mode off otherwise i can't access this okay cool and then in here you should see all the modded stuff you can craft uh, what's the extra mod i added But yeah, everything, yeah, here it is. This is the different mod that I added. It's got the little pieces and bobs and whatever on top of the fan mod. And this is the, the other mods uh, stuff as well. So, and yeah, all, all of these with the red little icons, the fan ones, and then the rest is, uh, I think these ones are all all from the different mod. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, I uh, hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye!